During the 19th century, there were only a few ways a slave could escape and become free, which one of the main ways slaves escaped was through the Underground Railroad, which provided safe passages for slaves to follow. During the time the Underground Railroad was alive, it helped countless of people escape slavery through a process created throughout the 19th century. But how exactly did the Underground Railroad come to be? Well, through historical research and maps, the Underground Railroad had secretly became popular, causing the railroad to expand in both trails and terms. Though, as the mid-century appeared, the railroad came to an end while a new beginning was getting created. For starters, the Underground Railroad is believed to have first appeared during the 1780s when groups of clackers had started to help slaves escape to a better life with two of those people being Livy Coffin and his wife, Catherine Coffin. During their time, they had helped over 3,000 slaves escape. Due to this, as told by History.net, Levy was considered the president of the Underground Railroad, though it wouldn't be till the 1830s when abolitionist Owen Brown helped to name, expand, and find better ways to communicate about the Underground Railroad. But even though they had better ways to describe the Underground Railroad, slaves still needed to find a way to sneak past their masters, which some ways they did was by creating their own language, singing songs, or through poetry. Now originally, there was only one path to take when going on the Underground Railroad, but as time went on, more routes started to appear some going to the north and even farther into Canada, while some routes went deeper south into Mexico. So with all these different places and routes to take, new terms started to come about to help the process get easier. Like for example, to describe the abolitionists leading them, they would get called conductors while the slaves would get called cargo, to which they would take the freedom trails, aka the routes, on the Underground Railroad to get to the promised land, which were the northern states, Canada, and Mexico. Then, if a slave was to get lost while escaping, they could follow the Drinking Gorge, which represented the Northern Star. Which the first thing a slave needs to do is find a way to escape, which could be by themselves or with the help of outsiders. After escaping, they could wait for a conductor to where they need to go, which could be soon or quite a while since no one ran on an exact schedule to avoid being caught. Then, after the hardship of going through certain routes, the journey would come to an end with the slaves becoming free African Americans. Which, due to all their hard work, it's estimated that around 100,000 slaves were able to escape. But as the mid-19th century arrived, the railroad soon became obsolete due to the beginning of the Civil War ending slavery for good. So in conclusion, slaves escaped in many different ways, though one of the main ways was through the Underground Railroad, which with the help of both blacks and whites, the Underground Railroad quickly became popular, being able to easily sneak news about it to others held captive. As the railroad continued to evolve, it brought many different ways that slaves could be free as well as many different code names to describe secret places to stop. Which due to that, the Underground Railroad soon developed a process that helped many become free. Though as time continued, the Underground Railroad soon came to an end, but even though slaves lost their main way of freedom, it was okay because a new beginning was starting.